Hi everyone, I'm Rincey and I'm one of the contributing editors over at Book Riot. Today I am going to be doing a Ready, Set, Hold. This is a feature where we talk about books that are coming out a couple of months in advance so that way you guys can put them on hold at your local library so you can be at the top of the hold list rather than the bottom of the hold list. Uh, today I'm talking about books that are coming out in March and I'm cutting this one a little bit close mostly because I forgot to do it last month. My bad, you guys. But there's still plenty of time left until these books come out, so you'll still probably be at the top of the hold list if you put these books on hold today. So the first book that I have is Gingerbread by Helen Oyeyemi. This one is coming out on March 5th. So this is a new novel from Helen Oyeyemi and is sort of playing on the importance that gingerbread plays in a lot of fairy tales. So in this book you are following this woman named Harriet Lee and her daughter Perdita, and they may seem like an ordinary British family, but there are a a lot of sort of signals that they may not be as normal as everyone else. One of those signals is the gingerbread that they make. It may not be very popular with Londoners, but it is popular in the faraway land of Destrana. In fact, the truest lover of the Lee family gingerbread is Harriet's childhood friend Gretel, someone who has had a hand in everything good or bad that has happened in Harriet's life since they met. So this sounds like one of those books that is very like standard Helen Oyeyemi. It takes like a concept or an idea or a style or something like that that people are well aware of and plays with them and twists it a little bit. Helen Oyeyemi's books are always just like a little bit too not too weird, but they are like out there more than other books. Uh, so if you've read Helen Oyeyemi's books before, you sort of know this going into it. So Yes, if you are a fan of her books, she has a new one coming out in March. And again, that is Gingerbread coming out on March 5th. Next, I have Daisy Jones and the Six by Taylor Jenkins Reid. This one is also coming out on March 5th. Taylor Jenkins Reid wrote the book The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo, which came out a couple of years ago and was like a huge hit. I know so many people who read that book and not only read it, but really, really loved it. So I'm sure that a lot of people are highly anticipating this one as well. So if you read The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo, you know that it was like following this like fictional actress as she's sort of chronicling her life and this one feels like it's going to be very similar or like kind of adjacent to that one. You are following sort of the history of this band called Daisy Jones and the Six and this book is actually written as an oral history which I think is really interesting. This story follows this band that's considered one of the biggest rock bands of the 70s and just follows them from the 60s following both Daisy as well as the rest of the band as they sort of come up in the music scene and join together and form this big band. But Taylor Jenkins Reid always does a really good job of making it more than what it originally seems like it's going to be about with the plot. So again, if you were a fan of Taylor Jenkins Reid's previous books, Daisy Jones and the Six is also coming out on March 5th. Also coming out on March 5th is The Island of Sea Women by Lisa C. This is a new historical fiction book from Lisa C, which is following two girls who are living on the Korean island of Jeju. So you are following these two girls who are best friends but come from very different backgrounds and they both end up joining the all-female diving collective on the island. This is a story that also takes place over a number of decades starting in like the 1930s and 40s going through World War II, the Korean War. So if you are someone who enjoys books that are about female friendship, if you enjoy historical fiction novels, if you've read Lisa C's work in the past, she writes really great fiction about female friendships that I have enjoyed in the past, then you can pick up The Island of Sea Women on March 5th or you can put it on hold at your local library today and get it basically almost immediately. Okay, coming out on March 12th is Shout by Laurie Hulse Anderson. So it has been 20 years since Speak originally came out, which is kind of mind-blowing to think about since I am someone who you know, read speak when it first came out. And so this is a new memoir written in verse, sort of talking about a lot of the similar topics around like assault, sexual assault, rape, things like that, that she has experienced, seen, dealt with, heard about over the course of the years. It's filled with her own personal stories as well as rants, observations, calls to action, as well as like a love letter to anyone who's had the courage to speak up to say, that they have experienced this abuse in some form. So if you're someone who read Speak long ago but maybe didn't pick up any of Laurie Halsey Anderson's other books but are continuing to be interested in staying aware of the sort of 
topics and ideas around assault, sexual assault, the Me Too movement, all of that stuff, then Shout by Lori House and Anderson would also be a really great one to pick up. Okay, and the final book that I have to talk about is The Bird King by G. Willow Wilson. This one is also coming out on March 12th. So this is a historical fantasy story written by G. Willow Wilson that is set in the late 1400s and it's being described as an epic journey set during the reign of the last sultan of the Iberian Peninsula at the height of the Spanish Inquisition. You are following these two characters. One of them is Fatima who is a concubine to the sultan. The other one is her friend Hassan who is a map maker who can create maps that open up basically like passages to another world. And so Fatima actually runs away with him and a djinn. And so this is a story that looks at love and friendship and what is the price of freedom. So if you've read G. Willow Wilson in the past, whether it's through her comic book writing or if you've read The Golem and the Ginny, which she wrote a handful of years ago at this point, maybe even more than that, then you can put on hold The Bird King, which is coming out on March 12th. So that is everything that I have for this video. Let me know down in the comments below what books that are coming out in March that you are very excited about. Otherwise, I will see you guys again next week with another video. Bye.